Hey guys, I printed off your questions, so I'm going to answer them now. The first question is from Vlog in Life. If you could have any job in the world, what would it be? Definitely full-time jewelry designer. I would love to do that. Another job that I think would be fun would be doing like voices for cartoons, voiceovers. So one of those two would be probably my, uh, my dream job. Binks wants to know, do I like living way up there? Um, I don't mind Northern Ontario. The winters are a little harsh, but uh, it could be worse. I could be living way up north. But uh, the city I live in is great. It's a nice size. There's everything here. Toronto and Ottawa are both like three and a half to four hours away, so um, I don't have to travel very far to go to a major metropolis. Marcel St. Jean wants to know what I edit with. I use iMovie 09. It came already loaded on my MacBook, so that's what I use. I want to get iMovie 11, but I have to get the uh, next operating system or something for the Mac, so yay. Creative Tux wants to know if you could live anywhere in the world, where, why, and what kind of dream house would you have? I enjoy living in Canada. Um, Maybe the West Coast, because they don't really have as bad of winters as we have here. And what kind of dream house would you have? That's a good question. I would have a two-bedroom house. Or no, I'd have a three-bedroom house. I'd have the main bedroom and a guest bedroom, and then I'd have an office slash beating room. A fireplace in the living room. A really nice porch on the front. I guess like a Victorian-style home with uh, three bedrooms and two bathrooms and yeah I hope that answers your question crazy cat lover wants to know where did you get such adorable cats two of them I got from uh, the local SPCA I got Thor in June of 2004 there was a volunteer there and she was petting him and telling him that he would find a home soon and I turned around and we made eye contact and he literally like tried to jump off of her shoulder and over to me so I knew he was coming home with me. Freya I also got at the local SPCA. They actually had her on display at uh, the pet store so I saw her in there and she was just adorable so I went and adopted her. Odin was free to a good home and he was living in an apartment downtown and one of my friends ended up uh, adopting his brother so I went over and uh, well he didn't adopt it was free to a good home but he took him in and I went over and met Odin's brother and I fell in love so two days after I met Odin's brother I went and got Odin and he was the last kitten there so I was really lucky. Gogmore Go Away wants to know why I chose to name my cats after Norse gods. When I had my first cat, I got him in 2003, I believe. July of 2003. He went nameless for about four days. I really didn't know what to call him. And then I was reading a book by Neil Gaiman called American Gods. And there was a character in the book that I really liked, and his name was Loki. So I read up a little bit on it, and the personality of Loki, the Norse god, really fit in with my kitten. Loki is a giant in Norse mythology, and he's also a trickster and the god of thieves. And my kitten was so mischievous, and uh, yeah, I miss him. Thor, I believe, was a character in the book as well, but I'm, I can't recall. It's been a number of years since I've read it, so I think that was one of the reasons. But another reason was uh, he was very vocal and very rambunctious as a kitten. And uh, he'd make a lot of noise when he would run around the coffee table for like 20 minutes nonstop. So uh, Thor is the Norse god of thunder. And Freya um, just kind of fit in with the theme. Freya is the Norse goddess of uh, love and fertility, war and wealth. And she is definitely um, very lovable and very loving. She loves her cuddles and she loves to lick my hand and basically use me as a washcloth, which is awesome. Hi kitten, knocking everything over. Odin also fit in with the theme. Odin is the father of the gods and the lord of war, death, and knowledge. And uh, 
he's definitely a very smart kitten and uh, he enjoys fighting so I hope that answers your question Dan man 2110 wants to know what I do for a living I don't really do anything that exciting I work a desk job um, I basically just do a lot of data input and uh, creating with spreadsheets and stuff like that but I really enjoy it and I really enjoy the people that I work with so that's awesome birdman404 wants to know what is my best childhood memory that was a long time ago. <laughs> I'd say my best childhood memory are probably the walks that I took with my father. Um, we used to walk to the corner store every night and we had some of probably the best talks I would say. Um, some of them I still remember word for word and they've definitely shaped uh, who I am today so that's probably my best childhood memory. Anti-Tactic has three questions. He wants to know ninjas or pirates, and I'm going to say ninjas, because they're quick and stuff. Plants or zombies? Plants, because they're not going to try and eat my brain, hopefully. And Coke or RC Cola? Coke, definitely. J. Monty Jams wants to know if I were a secret ninja sent from the future to help aid the planet from the zombie apocalypse, who do I think Oprah will have on her last show? Probably all the people that have supported her and encouraged her and influenced her. So I would say probably Stedman, Gail, and Maya Angelou, and I'm not sure who else. Paradise Waster has uh, a number of questions here, so we're going to try and get through them all. Uh, the first one is, would I French kiss a police officer if he's eaten a banana fish sandwich in order to not get a huge ticket? Depends on how big the ticket is, I guess. <laughs> I'd probably just suck it up and pay it. The next question, would I marry Adam if he was still free? I don't know. I, uh, I want to have kids, and if you watched his question video from yesterday, he doesn't. So that's kind of a big... Uh, <laughs> problem area. Would I kick someone in the Planets of Purple on a TV show to get $20,000 in cash? Depends on how bad I need the money. If it's Eric, definitely. <laughs> what food do you hate, don't like the most? I have to say, like, any kind of game meat. Um, like moose and seal and rabbit and stuff like that. It's just not for me at all. Describe your future husband, man of your dreams. Very supportive, very encouraging, uh, loyal, <laughs> definitely loyal, um, honest, caring, sensitive, uh, fun, funny, a, a good sense of humor. Um, hopefully he can cook. He has to like cats, because I'm not getting rid of my cats for nobody. And uh, just a kind heart, family oriented, down to earth. Gogmore Go Away has two more questions. Did I go to college or university, and if so, where and how was it? I went to Canada College, and I took a, it was a year long course condensed into four months, so it was an accelerated learning program and it was stressful but the overall experience was awesome. I really enjoyed my classes, I really enjoyed most of my teachers, and uh, I really enjoyed my classmates. And the other question is, who is my favorite celebrity? Tori Amos, hands down. Hands freaking down. I've been a fan of her since I was 16 or 17. I've seen her in concert twice. I've actually had the pleasure of meeting her uh, two years ago in Toronto. Best day ever. Uh, most surreal experience. And she's just amazing. She was so kind and so grateful. And she's just an amazing talent. And I love her. Alright guys, I'm going to end the vlog here tonight, and uh, I'm going to start editing and getting everything ready to upload to YouTube. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Um, if you did, please hit the like button. 
Um, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, and uh, as always, leave me a comment in the comment section below. I really enjoy uh, interacting with you guys, so keep doing that, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye!